focus on first alert weather today with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. Yeah. We're not done yet. We had one today. We got one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And well, actually, not one tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. What so is today? Today's Today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Tuesday. That's so right. It's not tomorrow. So, so we but, skip and, it and we're still in one technically, like we talked about, right. but it'll be done. It Close is hard. Enough. That's why we're, well, I'm here, because we got to break it all down, because we got a lot going on. Right. The, the haze is what caused our air quality alert today, and that's why we had a first alert weather day on Tuesday. Then Wednesday, it's going to bring standard heat for our area, but the dangerous heat gets here on Thursday and Friday. So I want you to be aware of that. Even a few stronger storms will be possible each day with that heat. So severe weather can't be ruled out. We're watching some heavy storms right now that are not severe, but bringing some rumbles of thunder uh, through Swain County and over toward Cherokee County, North Carolina. This one we're tracking and taking it into the Maggie Valley area by 1130, Silva by 1123. Uh, so right now, not looking like anything that's going to bring a lot of strong wind or hail, but the lightning is certainly dangerous and heavy rain. So take your time if you have to be out traveling. In Hendersonville, we saw some hail today and you can kind of see it. It's this isn't a movie because see the splashes of the hail and the little dots there coming down. It was heavy rain with some what looks like penny sized hail mixed in throughout the evening. And again, that could happen tomorrow uh, with any storm that gets going. So you certainly want to be uh, at the ready and have your Fox Carolina first alert weather app on your phone so you can get those alerts tonight. 72. There is a chance we could get an isolated thunderstorm as that energy dips in from the mountains. But most models are keeping the upstate mostly dry overnight. 65 for the mountains and then looking ahead to tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to have temperatures in the 80s to low 90s and upper 80s. So nothing too crazy when it comes to heat, uh, but enough to where it's going to feel hot to you outside. As we look at our next big thing, we're tracking more rain and storms along with that heat. So let's take a look at Wednesday afternoon, scattered showers and heavy thunderstorms possible. It'll dissipate as we lose the heat of the day. But look at Thursday morning. We may get a round that comes down from the north, bringing some heavy downpours and some strong storms as we go into the afternoon noon and evening. So at least that could help with our intense heat. Lightning intensity Wednesday afternoon. We're going to have some spots of fairly intense lightning. And then as we go into Thursday, notice that we'll have some scattered lightning strikes. It's on the lower end here. Uh, but still, these will be electrical thunderstorms that move through. And a quick look at the tropics. We are continuing to watch Don um, out in the middle of the Atlantic. You can see it spinning there, a weak uh, tropical storm, and it's going to be kind of making another hook to the uh, to the west and then eventually north. Staying a tropical storm, though, hanging tough right there in the middle of the Atlantic, but no threat to the United States. So next seven days, we've got dangerous heat on the way Thursday and Friday. First alert weather days in store and then Saturday, Sunday, a little more classic summer weather near 90 with only a slight chance for rain in the mountains. We'll have afternoon storms tomorrow and then looking ahead to dangerous heat and those storms that could become severe on Thursday as well as Friday.